Rumor has it there are a few secrets waiting inside of this Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. A few secrets that we've been waiting nearly 8 years to find. Secrets so secret they can only be unsecreted by a complete teardown. Which is exactly why we're here. Let's get started. For the past eight whole years, Samsung's phone design has stayed relatively simple. Two slabs of glass and enough glue to survive the singularity of a black hole. It's made repairs rather difficult, and any person attempting one for the first time would probably end up cracking the back glass during their first attempt. And I get it, waterproofing sensitive electronics is much easier with copious amounts of adhesive, so glue here around the back glass is totally fine. We gotta keep those beautiful internals as moisture free as possible. The back panel is a simple slab, and rather inexpensive to replace. Replacement parts are usually less than 20 bucks on Amazon. Very reasonable when compared to the $500 back glass replacements from Apple. With our glass gone, we can find 16 silver Phillips head screws holding down the rest of the internals. And here is where I almost make a $1,200 mistake. Unplugging the wireless charging coil and starting to lift up the bottom edge of the flap, I realized what I was lifting wasn't just the flap, but actually the paper-thin extension ribbon cable coming from the screen. One nick in this ribbon would have rendered the screen inoperable. And without a screen, I'd have to communicate like our grandparents did back in the 50s, face to face. From now on, I'll be significantly more careful. The copper coils inside of the wireless charger are pretty cool. These aren't the only coils in the phone, by the way but we'll get to the secondary wireless charger in a second. First, I can pop off the bottom loudspeaker and unclip the three extension ribbons just like three little Legos. You'll notice that each ribbon says sub on the bottom, and this is because Samsung wants you to subscribe to my channel. And there you have it, lady and gentlemen. With the ribbons gone, we see the secret. The best looking battery Samsung has ever installed in a smartphone with the best advice Samsung could ever give written right there on the flap, pull out. Samsung has finally added a removable battery to their smartphones. <laughs> After eight long years, Samsung has either finally ran out of glue, or maybe they are finally taking repairability seriously. That was amazing. Samsung's massive 5,000 mAh battery can now be removed in seconds by a regular person with no pry tools or alcohol. Just my own fingers and a few tears of joy for lubrication. Nice work, Samsung. Almost makes me want to take back all those mean things I said in the durability video. Almost. Looking underneath the battery pull tab sheet, we can see the bottom edge of the copper vapor chamber, as well as the underside of the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. The second hidden wireless charging coil is actually over here, right by the S-Pin parking garage. When the S-Pin is parked, these coils of copper interact with the coil surrounding the S-Pin tip and charge up a capacitor at the other end of the pin to act as a remote shutter for the camera. It's pretty nifty technology. The lid of the S-Pin parking spot is made from plastic. Since plastic and glass allow for the wireless charging coil's energy field to pass through, where a metal lid would not. And minor mistake, but it looks like I was demonstrating using the stylus from the Kindle e-ink tablet instead of Samsung's S Pen. Probably some really confused people over at Samsung for a second, but the concept is still the exact same. Thanks to our buddy Mr. Tesla, the inventor one and not the Twitter one, the S23 Ultra can charge itself and its stylus without any cables. You might have noticed that the S23 Ultra does not have a vibrator inside, and that's because Samsung has built it into the earpiece. And this earpiece, can't tell if it has a red or pink gasket, let me know what color you think it is down in the comments. Both of the stereo speakers do have foam balls inside, which help give the speakers more internal surface area, making the sound sound bigger than it actually is. Another incremental perk Samsung has given us this year is with the cameras. One more black Phillips head screw holds the camera array in place, and the whole thing can come out with the motherboard. Each of the four cameras can then unplug from the board like a little Lego. Up top we have the 12 megapixel ultra wide with no OIS. Below that we have the 200 megapixel normal camera with two times the normal optical image stabilization that we normally see on a flagship. Huge improvement in video stabilization. I'm not sure how it'll compare with Apple's sensor shift technology, but both are pretty epic. 
If you've ever found yourself needing to take a selfie with a jackhammer, this camera has your back. We also have the 3 times telephoto and another 10 times periscope telephoto camera down at the bottom. A very solid chunk of the S23 Ultra is dedicated to the camera real estate. The front selfie camera is still permanently glued into the frame of the phone. It is 12 megapixels. And as we make our way down to the charging port, you can tell by the circular markings inside the housing that the S23 Ultra was milled from a solid block of aluminum. One of the questions I get the most often, especially when someone buys a new phone and is unfamiliar with the layout, is what happens if I accidentally put the SIM card tool in the wrong hole? Samsung has inconveniently placed both the microphone hole and SIM card tray hole very close together, and I imagine there's a good chunk of people who've accidentally slipped it into the wrong hole. It happens. With the bottom board out, you can see the gold box that contains the microphone. It's positioned between the charging port and the SIM card tray that's mounted on the backside. The microphone is positioned above the shaft it is receiving sound from, and it is receiving that sound through a waterproofing membrane, which is also located on the side of the shaft. So not only is the SIM card tool too big to even reach the waterproofing, even if it could, the waterproofing mesh would still not be punctured since it's not at the end of the tunnel, it's off to the side. So no worries, the mighty S23 Ultra will not be brought down by a rogue SIM card tool. Overall, while this S23 Ultra might look the exact same as the S22 on the outside, there are definitely some good improvements to be had internally. With our new removable battery, the repairability and longevity of the phone has now gone up considerably. When your current battery dies after a few years, instead of getting a new $1,200 phone, you can now just bring it back to life with a $30 battery replacement. I'm a huge fan. I bet you thought I reassembled the whole phone, but did I? The only thing cooler than Samsung's replaceable battery is my teardown skin, which shows all the insides of your phone on the outside without voiding any warranties. I even added a few Easter eggs of my own. I'm a hardcore advocate for always wearing protection, which is where dbrand script case comes in. We have a flat matte skin or a glossy teardown skin, which is what I'm still rocking on my three and a half year old Note 10 Plus. So if you've bought a phone in the past three or four years, there's a good chance we'll have you already covered with one of my skins. I'll leave a link down in the description, so you too can have the coolest phone in the room. No screwdriver required. And as always, thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around.